T. Clark here, and this video will be about the 2021 AP Computer Science A FRQ number 4B, where you're going to resize, make a method to resize an array. So we're going to return a new 2D array containing only the rows from the array 2D parameter that are non-zero. Okay, so the elements in the new array should appear in the same order uh, as the order in which they appeared in the original array. So it sounds like we're going to be copying over the the values from array 2D, but only those that are non-zero. So in this case, I would skip the first row because it has a zero. I would copy over the second row in order. I would skip the third row. I would copy over the fourth row. So that looks like the smaller one. It could be smaller, it could be the same size, but it's dependent on how many rows are non-zero. And actually, they have a helper method called num non-zero rows that you don't have to program. We're not going to program that. We're just going to be using it to um, get the number of rows in the two-dimensional array that contain no zero values. So in this case, it would be, what, one, two, two non-zero rows. OK, so we have to complete the method. We can assume is non-zero row is working as specified. So no matter what you did in part A, it works perfectly. Even if you left it blank, it still works perfectly because we must use the num non-zero rows helper method the, and the is non-zero row as a helper method appropriately to use the or to get the full credit. Okay, so first things we want to do is we want to set up the return value. So my return value is going to be a 2D array of integers. And I'll just call it result. I love using the result as my um, variable name. That way at the end, at the bottom of the page, I can say return result. I do that because I'll forget if I don't do it right away. That's just my habit. So I return result, set up the result. And it's easy to forget. And a lot of people forget. That's like one point out of five that you lose if you don't have the return correctly or you don't have it set up correctly. OK, so how do I set up a, um, a 2D array? I have to get the new int, and then I have to get the dimensions correct. So right away, I know that the number of columns is the same. In this case, three um, three elements for the in each uh, array. So it's going to be array 2D for columns is going to be bracket zero dot length. Now, how about the number of rows? The number of rows, and this is where we're going to be using our um, num non-zero rows function. So I'm going to say the number of rows is a number of non-zero rows. And then I forget how does that work. Okay, so I can look at the bottom right here for the class information. Num's on, not, uh, num non-zero rows takes a 2D array. So inside the parentheses here, I have to have the array 2D. So I'm just going to pass it along. So now I have a 2D array, a matrix set up with the correct number of rows and the correct number of columns. So that's before I um, put any data into it. I have to set up the correct dimensions. So now that I have that, I want to loop over the original one. And I'm going to loop over the array 2D, the array that um, is given to the method, so the array that's the parameter. So to loop over it, it's going to be the same loop as normal. So if I can type a loop for int r equals 0, r is less than array 2d dot length, r plus plus. And I'm going to loop over the columns, same way as normal. So I'll just get this set up uh, real quick. Okay, so I have my normal um, looping over the rows, looping over the columns. But I only want to loop over the columns when the row is a valid row. So before I do the columns, I want to say, okay, only if that row is non-zero. So only the ones that are non-zero do I want to copy and go through the column, the, each element in that row. So again, I'm going to use the method that they... Uh, save to use. So I'm going to say if the row is non-zero, is non-zero row, 
And looking at the way to do it, I had to have the array and I had to have the row, the row number. So array 2D comma R. So if the um, row doesn't have any zeros, I can copy all the data, excuse me. Okay, so when I copy the data, I want to have the result equal the data from array 2D. So now I need to fill in these brackets. Okay, I know the columns are the same. So the columns match up. So I can just put C in here for that one and that one. So whatever it is, so it's 0, 1, 2, and the answer is going to be 0, 1, 2. Same thing for this one, 0, 1, 2. The column position matches 0, 1, 2. So C's match up. But what about R? I know this R in my for loop corresponds to array 2D. So I know array 2D is the row right here. But if I try to say, okay, this is row zero, this is row one, row two, row three, in my answer, there's no row two, there's no row three, that'd be out of bounds. So I can't use R. So what I'm gonna do instead is gonna, I'm gonna use another R2. So I'm gonna have another iterator, another row iterator, just for the row two. I'm gonna set it up, I can set it up above, but I like setting it up inside the um, for loop as well. So I'm gonna say, oh, I don't need to say int again. R2 starts at zero. I'm not gonna put R2 plus plus in the for loop because again, I'm going zero, one, two, three, and then here I'm just going zero, one. So they go at a different pace. They only, um, R2 only increments if the row is being copied. So this is where I'm copying the row, each element in the row. And so inside the if statement, inside that row condition, but after the C's, that's where I want to do the R2 plus plus. That's, what, that's where I want to increment my row for the result. I only increment it if I copy the data over, not every time. Every time is just for the original um, data from the parameter. I think that should be it. So let me run it just to triple check. I didn't make any mistakes. Okay, so I have my original data and my new data. Okay, I'm gonna run the, the testers. And it looks like they all work. Okay, so there is the solution, one solution for resize.